Hello friends, this San Marino Red Honda Accord was coated almost seven months ago with Armor Detail Supply Pro Quartz ceramic coating. So the purpose of this video was just kind of to show my current wash routine. Something to look back on as technology and products change in the next couple of years. But my wash routine, but also get an update on how this ceramic coating is performing. For the safest wash possible, we use the foam rinse foam method. So the first thing I did was foam the wheels and tires with all clean 15 to 1 and a splash of incredible suds in my IKE Foam Pro 12. Gave them a good rinse and then used Armor Detail Supplies wheel cleaner, which has iron removers in it, and then topped it with Brake Buster Diluted 5 to 1 in my SPTA foamer. And then in case you're wondering, before I would start cleaning another tire or wheel, I did spray those brushes off before starting the next wheel. Armor Detail Supplies Wheel Cleaner does not have a very strong, bad smelling iron remover component. It's more of like a pungent sweet blueberry smell. One of the easiest wheel protection products on the market, Gion Wet Coat. Spray it on a wet, clean surface, rinse it again, and you have great protection that lasts a couple weeks, maybe a month or two. The paint was hot to the touch on this side of the vehicle, so I'm giving it a quick cooling rinse with spot-free water from my CR Spotless just to bring those panel temperatures down. Never wash a vehicle in direct hot sunlight if you can help it. Back to the IKE Foam Pro 12 with DIY details all clean, diluted 15 to 1 with a splash of incredible suds for foaming dwell action. Again, only apply this on a cool, wet surface or a cool surface. Never let this dry on paint or glass or your wheels, wherever. So I'm going to work kind of quick. I'm going to pre-treat the whole vehicle, especially great on those bugs. And before it has a chance to even start drying, I'll come back and rinse it real well. I'm just using normal tap water through this step. Now we'll break out the MJJC S 3.0 foam cannon, about half full with water, and then only about a half an ounce of DIY details and credible suds. You'll notice here in a second, the CR spotless water is gonna come through and make even thicker foam. There's the CR spotless. You can see the difference in foam. Now with that thick foam hanging on the vehicle, I'll use a detail brush and get into those intricate trim areas grills, emblems, anywhere where the wash mitt may not appropriately clean the area. Now we'll grab our Gion Smoothie Mitt and clean the top glass greenhouse roof area of the vehicle and I'll flip the mitt halfway through. But again, there's no grit or dirt really on the vehicle at this point. We're just removing any traffic film or oils that might be left. Start at the top of each section, work your way down, finish at the bottom, flip the mitt to the clean side, back and forth, all the way to the bottom, back to the bucket, give it a good rinse. Same thing on this door here, all the way down and flip the mitt. I use the same technique just about on every single vehicle that I wash, it works great. I'm getting around the vehicle pretty quick. So back to the bucket once there, mid through that passenger side. Hood, 
front end, flipping the mitt, and going back to that bucket occasionally. All right, it's 440, it's been 25 minutes. Incredible says has dried on the paint, but I'm gonna show you how it rinses freely. See our spotless water. It reactivates and rinses right off. Normally if it's direct sun like this, I will wash in the garage in the shade, but I wanted to pull it out for a better video angle filming from outside in the driveway, but I also kind of wanted to see how much residue Incredible Suds would leave if it did dry on the paint. I was very pleasantly surprised it rinsed off very well, very easily. But again, as you all know, you should never wash in direct sunlight. Ceramic coating is doing fantastic. And we can just let that air dry. I am going to use a blower to blow it a little bit to speed up the process because I'm going to test a sealant on these tires. That's a perfect opportunity for ADAPT Armors SiO2 infused waterless wash oh i love this stuff i missed a spot so this is a perfect opportunity to just gently come back and touch this up and this i'm using in direct sun no streaking at all love adapt so after i wash a vehicle the adapt comes in perfectly handy for your door jams. Notice I sprayed those out at the end. Let's clean these up. So if I missed any spots on the wash, I can touch up with the adapt. I think the website says this supplies maybe about a month of protection, but I'm not really using it for protection. That's a bonus. But you can fill that ceramic, that SiO2 when you're using it, it is super slick. And that'll keep his door jams cleaner longer. See the dirt in here? No worry for that product. Just go real gentle. Thanks for watching everyone. If you have any questions about the tool techniques or products used, put them in the comments. I love talking shop. Take care everyone.